Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Fuller Homestead. My name is Brian, happy Monday to you. Had a productive weekend as we got a lot of things done around here. Exciting news for the chicks as they got to move into the chicken tractor that we finished building. I had my uh, sister and my niece and my nephews over and they were helpful in getting them out of the brooders that we had and into the chicken tractor. Now, I will say that it was probably about a week earlier than I would have normally done it, but the brooders that we had were not very large at all and the way that they were flapping around and their feathers were coming in, and with the warmer temperatures, we felt it was fine to put them out there. So they're enjoying the grass, they're enjoying being outside and seem to be doing really well. Today's project's gonna be kind of fun, kind of cool, and kind of quick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this leftover one by six and we're gonna make two birdhouses out of it. That's right, one board, two birdhouses. Let's get started. Our first step is actually gonna be cutting this 12 foot board in half. We're gonna build one birdhouse with six feet, one birdhouse with the other six feet. So let's head over to the miter saw. So in order to make this one board bird box out of a one by six and a six foot section of that, we're gonna need the following cuts. We're gonna need one piece at 13 and a half, three pieces at nine inches, one piece at seven and a half, and one piece at four. Let's get cutting. have our two stacks getting ready to assemble our bird boxes. Here we are with all the pieces laid out for one box. I'm gonna show you how this is gonna form so that you get an idea as we're assembling. Your smallest piece, which was your four inch piece, is going to be the bottom of your bird box. Then you're going to have your nine inch pieces that are gonna be your sides and also the front. And then we'll drill obviously a hole in here for access for the birds. Your largest piece, your 13 and a half, is gonna be the back portion of your bird box. And then finally, seven and a half is gonna be your roof. So it's gonna look something like that. Before we actually start nailing everything together, we need to prep a few of the pieces. For instance, your base, what we're gonna do is take a quarter inch paddle bit. You could use a drill bit if you've got one. My paddle bits just happen to be close to my assembly table. And I'm gonna put one quarter inch hole near each corner. And then on two of the sides, you're going to put about a third of the way down, two quarter inch holes there two quarter inch holes there for a little bit of extra ventilation. I'm gonna take these over to the vise and we're gonna clamp them in and I'm gonna take my paddle bit and make my holes. And that right there is a fail in real time. What we're gonna do rather than go straight to the quarter inch paddle bit is I'm gonna go in with a smaller drill bit and we're gonna work our way up because this wood is gonna split way too easy. Back with a fresh piece from our scrap. Let's see what we can do now. All right, going from 1 8 to 3 16 This may be overkill, but we're going to 7.30 seconds. All right, try and quarter inch again. Hope for the best. We didn't split. I'm going to take a file and we're going to ream that through. All right, got them sitting a little better. Now, it's also important to note that this is not just to help with airflow. It's actually for drainage as well, for if uh, some water works below in there through the opening. Uh, 
So it uh, kind of serves two purposes. Now comes the time where we need to put the hole in the front of the bird box. Now you can find several of these plans online of these one board bird boxes, but we're going to use ours to try to attract bluebirds. We have seen some in the front of our yard and actually just down the road. So we thought this would be a perfect time to go ahead and start putting some up, let the birds get used to it because they're literally right in our front yard. For the bluebirds in our area, we need a one and a half inch hole. Most of the experts say it needs to be two inches down from the top and two and a half inches in from each side as far as the center of the hole. So we're gonna make those measurements out and then we're gonna use one of our paddle bits to make the one and a half inch hole and hope it doesn't split. Having done this a few times, let me go ahead and share some tips that I have learned that will hopefully save you some frustration. As you set up your drill press, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's at a fairly high RPM, mine's as high as it will go, and you're gonna to have to remember to go very, very slowly on this, okay? Next, you're gonna put a couple of pieces of wood here so that you can elevate your piece and your bit has room to go through and not hit your metal table. Now, we're only gonna go partially through and then we're gonna flip it and go out the other side so that it doesn't have a bunch of blowout. And then finally, you're gonna to wanna to clamp your piece down to the table here and you're gonna to wanna to do it at the corners so that it doesn't wanna twist on you. Uh, if you do it two on one end, it'll still try to twist and it'll catch and elevate. So corners, elevated wood, high RPM and go slow. We're gonna go ahead and glue these up with some tight bond and go ahead and pop them with the nail gun. Um, there's a couple of different thoughts here. You could do it as loosely as you can to put the box together. It gives more airflow for especially our area where the summer months are just crazy. But also if you don't wanna to have to do the nails for fear of splitting, you probably could just glue it up, clamp it and wait for a little bit. We're gonna try the best of both worlds and see what happens and hopefully it won't split. In my haste to get these uh, done really quickly, I failed to remember to put the hinge nails in on this side. So what we're gonna do now is I think I've got some tiny little hinges back on my shelves and I'm just gonna simply hinge the lid now to the back there. That should be pretty easy and then that way we can lift it up. It's not the easiest for clean out for sure, but uh, at least it gives us access to the inside without having to dismantle the whole box. how bad the lighting was over there so we flip sides <laughs> And there you have it, a one board, two bird house build. Now at this point, the sky is the limit. You can obviously choose to paint it. You can put fancy hangers on it. I know my dad has some in his yards that he's put metal over the top of the lid and made little tabs, not only to make the wood preserve a little bit longer, but also to keep other critters, hopefully, from getting inside the bird house. I would love to see if you guys decide to do one of these builds, you can put a picture of it in the comments below. And by the way, if you're looking for some plans that you can start on your own, I put a link to a set of one board, one house plans in the description below. That's gonna do it for today's video. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so. Also give us a thumbs up if you think that's warranted and hit that notification bell so you can know exactly when our next video goes live. The next video will be on Wednesday. So until then, have a good one.